Right, sorry everyone, this is the last vid for the first lesson of the functions. It's just defining. So it says a function is a special mapping that relates each element of the domain to exactly one element of the range. So I've got something like a one-to-one -one function, like a straight line, like that, where one x value, so this is like your x values, that's your y values, one x value goes to one y value. Here, I've got two x values going to one y value. So it could be like a quadratic graph where I've got more than one x value going to the same y value. So that's what a many to one is. So one to one, x to y, many to one, x to y. So more than one x value goes to one y value. And that one's all over the show, so that one's not a function. So it talks about one-to-one -one functions. So one in, one out. It's like three x plus one. Could have done better with the axes there, don't you think? So that's all right, isn't it? So if it's unrestricted, both of them would just be the real numbers. So and then you've got a many to one. So no, let me just drop some lines on this then. So oh, I could do with better axes on this, you know. Look, so you've got one x value going to one y value. So I've got one x maps to one y. Whereas here, I've got more than one x value mapping to the same y value. So I've got two x maps to one y there. There we go. So, <laughs> so if you look for this one, I've got more than one x value mapping to the same y value. Uh, so that's more than two, isn't it? This is more than one mapping to the ones. So I can restrict the domains, I can make them so the one-to-one. -one. So with this quadratic one, I can chop it off at the vertex there and make it a one-to-one. -one. With the sine graph, I could chop it, say, between here and here, and I cover all the y values once. And that's what kind of creating a one-to-one -one function is. So it says by restricting the domain of a many-to-one function, we can create a one-to-one -one function. So like from there, that's now one-to-one -one if I just had it at um, bigger than the vertex. And here, if I just chose between these values here, minus 90 to 90 or minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, I've restricted it, I've made it a one-to-one -one function. And that's quite important for something called the inverse because with an inverse, you've got to be certain where you're going back to. This has to be the last bit, surely. Let's have a look at the next bit. So not a function. So it says the vertical line test. So on a graph, many to one or one to one means that no vertical line ever crosses more than one value. So like a circle is out there, isn't it? So let's try let's try our um, our vertical line thing on this then. And then we're done. So vertical line, so that's a no. The vertical line, so that's going to be um, a many to one because it's more than one x value going to the same y value. Vertical line doesn't work on there, but one x value going to one y value, so that's one to one. And look at the circle, look, see, so that's actually called a many to many, uh, but we don't have that. The vertical line fails. So that one's not a function as well. It's actually called a many to many one, but that's not in our spec. Right, loads of questions we'll do in class. Have fun, it's not that bad, I promise.